guys, what's up? Mr. Socks here, and today we're going to be doing the fourth episode in our Dark Matter series. And today, the weapon of choice is one of the fourth SMGs, the Vesper. This gun, I believe, is very good. It's very good fast fire rate, means you can get a lot of bullets on the enemy in a very short period of time. It's really good from close range, but it's not too good at medium or long range because it's got fast fire rate, which means a lot of recoil. Okay, let's get into the class setup right now. So, for my class, I would recommend using a grip, because like I said, it's got very fast fire rate. For those close to medium long range fights, you want to use grips and get more bullets on target downrange faster. Um, you could use the sight if you want. I would recommend it. The iron sights are actually really very good. So, I you don't have to use the sight. I would recommend using that point for like a perk or something. Uh, for the um, other attachments, I recommend using fast mags and extended mags, because... It shoots a lot of bullets very fast, and if you get into a room with two or three people, you want to kill them all, you're not going to be able to do that with just one mag, so I would recommend using extended mags. And it takes a little while to reload, so that's why I recommend using fast mags. And for the specialist, I, it's kind of opinion, um, vision pulse, combat focus, overdrive, or heat wave, those are all pretty good. Um, perks, like I said, it's preference I'd recommend, but for me, I use overclock, um, Six cents, so, uh, scavenger, and either gung ho or blast suppressor, or no third perk at all. And I would recommend lethal or tacticals because that will just take your head, uh, it will take your mind out of the game of getting headshots. And for headshots, like every other weapon, I recommend playing hardcore. You can play any game mode you want, yeah, but don't play search and destroy. Not even an option for hardcore. I don't know, but if it is, don't play hard search and destroy unless you want to get a poop ton of XP. Because you don't get many kills in search and destroy and you die a lot and you can't respawn. But use concussions. Once you concuss them, go up next to them, get a headshot, you're done with it. Or you can look for AFK players. And this is a new one I just recently found. Use Heat Wave. You stun them there for 3 or 4 seconds, get some easy bullets on them, and there are the 100 headshots. Just keep grinding those out and get there eventually. For the other challenges, there's the 50 kills with an optic and 5 attachments, and the 50 kills with no attachments. And those are pretty simple. Just get 50 kills. But you could also use, if you want, a class with no attachments. Uh, wait, never mind, that doesn't work. What am I saying? Never mind. You just set up classes, you can go play any game mode you want, really. The Bloodthirsties, those will come with times. You can camp, but I recommend... For me, personally, if I camp, I tend to do bet worse, actually. But if I'm just playing, I actually get tend to get the Bloodthirsties faster. Um, like I said before, double mags for d extended mags. I don't know what I'm saying for double kills because one mag is not going to probably be enough. And for the revenge medals, those will just come with time. But I recommend playing hardcore dom or hardcore hardpoint if that's a thing, or you can just play regular dom or hardpoint because a lot of people are going to be going, going towards the objective, and if they kill you, you run right back. The chances are they're probably still there, either protecting the flag or getting the hardpoint points. Well, that's been it for today, guys. I don't have any other tips for the Vesper for you guys. Um, remember to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy. And leave a comment for which category I should do after the SMGs next. And I'll see you guys next time. Mr. Socks.